from WEHT Local. This is Eyewitness News at 5 in High Definition. Tonight at 5, just one day after family and friends said farewell to Evansville firefighter Robert Doerr, Evansville police have arrested his wife. Her charge ahead. Wind power in Gibson County, Indiana could uh, someday be harnessed. What this means for the community, a live report straight ahead. But we begin tonight with the arrest of the wife of slain Evansville firefighter Robbie Doerr. Good evening, everyone. I'm Shelley Kirk. Hello, I'm Brad Bird. 51-year-old Robbie Doerr was shot and killed outside his Oakley Street home last week. His wife, 47-year-old Elizabeth Fox Doerr, was arrested and charged with obstruction of justice this morning. Eyewitness News Amelia Young is on Oakley Street tonight with the latest on this. Amelia? Evansville police have not yet identified a person of interest or suspect in Robbie Doerr's killing, but his wife tonight is in jail on no bond for deleting a phone call she allegedly received before calling 911. Many mourned the loss of their friend, father, and fellow firefighter Robbie Doerr after he was killed outside his home February 26. One week later, there are still no answers as to who did it, but today, those friends and family are asking even more questions. Hours after the funeral, Evansville police arrested Elizabeth Fox Doerr, Robbie's wife, on a preliminary charge of obstruction of justice. Police say she deleted a call record from her phone she received before calling 911 the night Robbie was shot. During her initial interview, Fox Doerr did not mention the call. But police checked with the phone company after seizing her phone and were able to confirm a call was deleted. During questioning last night, she confirmed it was deleted. A man named Dustin Barrett, identifying himself as Fox Door's son, posted on our Facebook page that his mother will, quote, be ruled out eventually too. Neighbors who heard the shooting last week are also questioning just exactly what happened that night. You know, we're all shocked and really don't know what to say, you know, but we just know they was good, caring, loving people like all the rest of us. And for something like that to happen, I'm very sorry to see something like that happen. Elizabeth Fox Doors being held at the Vanderbilt County Jail tonight on no bond. Live in Evansville, Amelia Young, Eyewitness News.